Acts 2.42 says that they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. And that word for fellowship is koinonia. That's our life together. That early church was devoted to life together. And in doing that, they were simply living out what Jesus had prayed in his high priestly prayer. We share life together in our congregations as we gather together around the word and as we receive the sacraments together. But it doesn't stop at the divine service. It carries over into all of our lives. We apply that word to each other in so many different contexts. We act graciously toward one another. We live out the calling we have as Christians. And you know, really, the things that we take into the world as we show mercy to other people, we're called to show that to each other as well. And I think sometimes it's easy for us to so externalize that, to think, I need to show love and compassion and understanding to those who don't know Jesus. It's easy to forget sometimes, I need to show it to my brothers and sisters and I need to receive it from them too. We live in a culture that prizes individualism. We like self-made people. We like to pull ourselves up from, by our bootstraps. We don't need anybody to help us. I can take care of myself. But God tells us it's not good for us to be alone. And if we're honest with ourselves, we know we need other people. Our Lord Jesus calls us to live lives together, which means acknowledging that I need you and you need me. We, we are called to this relationship together because together, things happen. Together we can be a blessing. And so often in our, in our lives, we settle for shallow relationships. We stay at surface level. We ask people how they're doing and we don't really care what they, what they answer. In fact, we expect a single word answer. God calls you to this life together today. God works now. And if he leaves us on this earth, he's going to call you to it tomorrow. And he's going to call you to life together and to showing acts of mercy each day of your life because he knows that there you'll find joy. There you're going to see the Spirit at work. There you're going to know the blessings that God has for us in this kingdom. And God in his mercy is going to let us keep sharing in that work until that day when he shows us the greatest joy of all as we gather together before his throne.